Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today Minecraft Friendly Zombie has gone ahead and invited us to this awesome village where apparently loads of villagers are getting themselves kidnapped and everyone's really scared that they could be next. So let's go see what the villagers want us to do today and hopefully we can go ahead and help them out. So they've gone ahead and given us a wonderful book then a very unusual key card, an iron sword, an iron pickaxe, and a telekill sword, which has the most ultimate attack damage ever, 2.1 billion. Well, let's go see what the book says, and hopefully we should be able to help out this wonderful villager. Hello, Navid. We are so glad you came. SCP monsters have taken our villagers as prisoners. Help us free them. We want to make sure they all come back safely. Wait a second, are you trying to say that every single structure around this village belongs to SCP monsters? Okay, that can't be good. I have a feeling we have to venture inside today and figure out where the villagers are. So let's put this book back and let's get ourselves ready for the craziest battle ever. But first, we do need to go ahead and free this poor villager that's been stuck inside this prison forever. And hopefully, we should be able to go ahead and save the next few villagers. But guys, before we do that, I do want to give a shout out to Colin as well as Chris for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead, press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. And guys, don't forget, the majority of you guys aren't subscribed yet, so head down below as well and press the red subscribe button. And don't forget about the notifications bell. So I think it's now time to go ahead, head inside, and let's see where these villagers are hiding. Hello! I'm here to find some poor villagers! So we're instantly entered SCP-939, which I think is with many voices. So let's go inside and figure out what's going on. Okay, so far this seems well too scary, and the only thing we can find are broken down TVs and cupboards full of random papers. Okay, let's keep on going, and let's go figure out what's going on. Whoa! Okay, this is mental, and I found the prison! It's right at the back! So we have to go ahead and kill these guys and make sure we don't die ourselves, which we've instantly done. So let's run back and let's go and use our telekill sword to go ahead and finish them off. Thankfully, this villager is a bit too scared to go ahead and leave that prison. So I have a feeling until we kill all the SCP monsters, no one's going to be free. So let's go and do this and hopefully we should be able to save them all. Let's head inside and let's quickly rush to the front and let's go and stop this. Thankfully, our telekill sword is here to save the day. Here we go! Let's do this! The telekill sword! Yes! I can't believe it's working! We're literally killing every mob instantly and it's working out perfectly. So let's keep on going around and let's finish every single mob and hopefully we can free the villager. Wait! I think they've eaten the villager! This is not good! That's a prison cell where the villager used to be. So whatever's going on, we have to just finish them off. Let's go see if there's a villager inside that maybe we can't see. Yes! We've saved him! That is so cool! So apparently, there's some sort of weird little thing going on where we can't see who's inside the prison. But I'm super happy we saved this wonderful villager. So let's open this up and let's get him out of here. Villager, follow my lead! We're gonna have to escape this place and hopefully we should be able to do it. Yes! We've done it! We've saved the first villager! Well, now it's time to go ahead and figure out who's inside this next structure and let's go and free the villager that's inside here. Hello? Anyone here? Let's keep on going and let's go see what SCP monster this belongs to. Now, I can see flickering lights, which is definitely not good news. And this one belongs to SCP-106, which I have a feeling is the old man. Let's head inside and let's go see who it is. Yes, it is! And it seems like he himself is stuck in a prison of his own. So let's head up there and let's go see how to destroy him. Is he here? Yes, he is here! No! He's teleported us to the most unusual world ever. A world we cannot escape from. I have a feeling the only way out is if we sadly die. So let's go figure out where everyone's hiding and hopefully we should be able to do this. Hello? Any monsters? I want to get out of here. 
I feel like the only way we can get out is if we somehow just dig our way out. So guys, give me a second. I'm gonna make our way out of here and hopefully we should be able to survive this. Now, I am stuck with so many unusual blocks. It's gonna be an endless trip. Thankfully, we're back in the real world, but I can't leave that poor villager to be stuck in there forever. So let's head back in and let's go save our wonderful friend. The villagers are gonna love us so much if we manage to help him out. So I'm gonna have to have my telekill sword super close. Let's be really careful. Now that we've opened his door, he could easily escape. So we've got to make sure we're ready at all times. Here we go. Telekill sword at the ready. Let's make our way through this final door. Can you see him? Okay, he hasn't made it out of the containment yet. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see where he is. Well, I don't see. There he is. Whoa. Did we just kill him? Or has he teleported away? No, he's right there. <laughs> okay, let's go free our villager friend and let's get him out. Villager, let's get out of here. I have a feeling he could easily be behind us. There he is. Okay, let's keep going and hopefully we should be able to do this. Now, as soon as we're both free, we have to close this up. If not, he's going to follow us literally forever. Okay, let me go and get some help and hopefully we should be able to free him. Okay, that's two out of the few villages we need to go and do. So let's keep on going and let's go figure out who's inside the next structure. We've really got to hurry up. If the old man is trying to follow us, we're never going to be able to do this. But I have a feeling inside this next structure is going to be a really scary SCP. SCP-096. This is awful news for us. Okay, let's head in. Hello? Anyone here? I have a feeling we shouldn't enter this next room, but I feel like I can already see the prison cell. So let's go ahead and break it, and we've freed our wonderful villager, and let's go see who's inside. Here we go. And perfect. Are we going to be able to see it? No! It's SCP-096! <laughs> this is awful! Okay, let's go and try and use our iron sword as much as we can, but I don't think we're going to be able to survive this. Ah! He started! Okay, let's try and get out of here. Um, villager! Come on! You have to get free! I have a feeling he's a little bit scared, but we have to maybe kill him first? I think he's playing this, if you play dead card, nothing will hurt you. And maybe he's right in this case. Um, can we shut it off? Is there anything we can use? Okay, we got another key card, a flashlight, and every crazy thing. Okay, here he comes! Ah! Okay, let's quickly rush in and let's just go and finish it off. I'm gonna have to use our telekill sword. Yes! We've done it! That is awesome! I can't believe we've saved this villager and killed SCP-096. Okay, let's get out of here and hopefully we should be able to do this. Let me open this glass just in case he wants to get out that way. Well, hopefully the next one is going to be as hard as these last few. Especially the old man, which is one of the scariest ones we've done so far. But I have a feeling we've done three out of maybe five or six we need to do. So let's head to the next house and let's go and figure out what's going on. And the villagers are ecstatic to hear their villagers are free, which is absolutely awesome news. Okay, this next one is looking very plain, but whatever creatures inside, I'm sure is as dangerous. SCP-280? Wait, is this the dark one? Let's head inside. Yes, it is! Okay, and the villager is instantly there. Okay, we've done it. That is great news. <laughs> villager, we've saved you. I'm super happy. That is awesome. Okay, let's get out of here, and hopefully we should all be free now. So far, every single one has been super easy, and I'm super happy we've saved so many wonderful villagers. But I do think we have another one to go and do right around here, which looks like a giant arena. So let's make our way through, and let's go and figure out who's hiding inside. Hello? Any evil SCP monsters? So we're heading inside, and it's SCP-354. But I'm a little bit scared there could be other monsters hidden in here. But let's just rush through, and let's go and see what's going on. Ah! There's so many SCP monsters! Run! <laughs> We've been followed by one instantly! Okay, let's go and try and kill him off with our iron sword, and hopefully we should be able to destroy him. SCP-354-18 is super scary right now. Villagers, I think I'm at the last structure. It's hidden right at the back around here, and I think we've almost done it. But I can't believe so many villagers have been taken. This village is placed in such a bad place. I feel like they're all food for all these poor SCP monsters. 
Well, let's make our way in and let's go kill off these evil SCP monsters. They're scattered around and we're not going to be able to kill them off unless we use a telekill sword. Have we done it? Yes! This telekill sword is the most awesome sword ever. But I can see inside this very unusual blood-like substance. Wait! No! We're being dragged away! <laughs> let's make it through! Quickly! And perfect! Ugh, I never want to enter that again. That was gross. And let's go kill SCP... 354 and perfect and let's go kill the allosaurus scp3544 which is super scary right now but i'm pretty sure the villagers are hoping that we're going to save their last few friends so let's go and do this i think we've done every single one but i haven't been able to find the villager yet i have no idea where he's hiding so if you guys see him you gotta shout it out i haven't been able to see him so far let's open this and let's open this next one and let's go and finish him off Wait, is this water some sort of chemical that spawns SCP monsters? Okay, let's keep going. No, we've died again. I'm just really hoping next time the villagers can go ahead and give us some sort of armor that we can protect ourselves with. But so far, it's been absolutely mental. Here we go. Let's rush through and we've done it. Now, where is this villager hiding? Oh, he's up there. <laughs> okay, I wonder how long he's been up there for. But let's go ahead and get him down from there. And hopefully we should be able to save you for him. Yes, we've done it. We've saved every single villager. This is great news. Now, how are we going to get him down? I think he's going to be stuck up there for a while unless he jumps. So let's go ahead and try and make some steps. And hopefully it should be a lot easier. Well, the great news is, guys, we've gone ahead and saved the wonderful five villagers, and I'm super happy about it. But I do want to show the villagers exactly how to get out. They need to figure out how to save their own friends very soon. Villagers, look what happens. If I spawn a cell, all you got to do is go ahead and use a pickaxe to go ahead and destroy it. And then very soon, you should be able to get yourselves out of this. Well guys, it's been super fun today going ahead and saving our wonderful villager friends and hopefully very soon we can figure out what other SCP monsters are out there. Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today, Marco Freddy Zombie has gone ahead and invited us for another crazy mission. Where apparently last night some dangerous SCP monsters appeared right underneath his house, so I'm a little bit scared. Mark, what are we doing today? Is it true some dangerous monsters have appeared inside your house? It's gonna be super scary. Well guys, let's go find out what Michael Freddy Zombie wants us to do, and hopefully we should be ready. Hello Naveed, we build a bunker behind our house to fight off some dangerous SCP monsters. We need to make sure they are killable, so can you make sure that our new weapons can fight them off? Wait, you have some brand new weapons? Cool! Okay, let's put this back, and let's go and find out what these weapons are. Whoa! There's so many crazy stuff in here! So the first thing I see is the broken telekill sword and also some brand new armor. So let's go and put this on. So it seems like Mike has given us a helmet, a chest plate, some leggings and also some boots. Gosh, <laughs> this is awesome. Mark, thank you so much. Hopefully this is a wonderful gift. And he also has loads and loads of different types of weapons. Okay, let's take this out and let's make sure every single one of them works. You guys ready? Let's do this. Whoa, okay. They do work! This is crazy! Okay, and we also have the RPG. Mark, I'm gonna use this right here! Whoa! <laughs> that is crazy! Okay, let's hopefully get out some more ammo and hopefully we should be good. Mark, I'm so sorry about this. Hopefully we should be able to reload it and make sure everyone is kept safe. So guys, let's go find out where these SCP monsters are and hopefully we should be able to kill them. I'm a little bit scared that wherever they are, I have a feeling they might be hidden. So guys, keep your eyes open. Mark did tell us they were behind his house and down below. Gosh, wait, I think I hear them. Okay, they seem to be around here somewhere, but I'm not really sure where we could be able to find them. Oh, here we go. So past the barbed wire, down below we go. And there they are. Okay, that's SCP-173. And whenever we turn our back, they'll pretty much get super mad. <laughs> Look, they'll follow us around until we pretty much die. I hate this so much. And it seems like whoever used to work here was experimenting on all of these dangerous SCPs. So, let's go and do this. Wait a second. They've given us loads and loads of spawners. Okay, I'm going to put some weapons away and I'm going to take out quite a few of these spawners. And hopefully we can spawn them and figure out how to kill them. 
SCP monsters, I will be back to destroy you guys. Don't you guys worry. So let's get out of here and let's start spawning some dangerous SCPs. Mark, are you ready to have a look? They are pretty scary. Now, thankfully, we do have this instant telekill sword, so hopefully this should keep us very safe. Mark, I'm ready to go ahead and test out these weapons. So let's go and do this. I'm going to do the eyes in the dark. Now, this one does sound very scary. Okay, here we go. SCP-280. Whoa! Okay, it seems like he's dancing, but I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Maybe he's a little bit stuck, so let's go and help him. There we go. Where? Where did he go? Okay, this is not good. I have a feeling that wasn't supposed to happen, but maybe it was. I don't know. Let's just go and spawn him again, and hopefully we'll figure out if that was going to happen or not. Here we go. So we have another one. Let's go and do this. Okay, I'm going to reload and just use our RPG at this point. I just want to go ahead and destroy them. Mark, I'm so sorry for destroying the whole neighborhood. Ah, it went through him. Okay, there he is. Okay, I think we should be able to do this. No, not baby zombie. Stay away, dangerous monster. Why is he going for baby zombie? I have no idea what he was trying to do. Okay, so let's get his knowledge to go ahead and help out our zombie family later. And then let's go and spawn another one. I'm sorry, baby zombie. That wasn't meant to happen. Let's go and do this. Perfect and good. Okay, let's keep on collecting the knowledge and hopefully we should be able to keep everyone very safe. Huh, what a crazy day. Mark, I'm ready. Let's keep on going. I'm going to do the sleep killer. Wait. Wait, this guy's invisible. I know he is. Okay. Did we kill him? Okay, let's just keep going. Here we go. Oh, there he is. Guys, we found him. Good. Okay. This guy is invisible, so we have to be very careful. And he will go ahead and give us weakness and mining fatigue, which is not good whatsoever. Let's go and make sure. Okay, he has to be dead now. Mark, no one can survive that attack. So it seems like we still have weakness and mining fatigue, though, which could be very dangerous for us. But I'm just going to keep on going anyways. Do you know what? I'm not going to spawn that one again. That was actually really scary. Let's go and do Build-A-Bear. SCP-1048. Okay. He looks very friendly. I'm not sure if to go ahead and kill this guy or if he's actually friendly. Sometimes the signs will tell you where he's... Hey, buddy! No! He might be trying to go ahead and get free all of our other SCPs. SCP-173. Stay back, evil monster! Okay, keep going. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, hopefully that was a good idea. I'm not sure if killing these monsters could be really dangerous for us. Well, let's go and spawn him again. There he goes. Wait, why is he going after Mark? What did he do? Okay, let's go and destroy this guy. Perfect and good. <laughs> for some reason, he doesn't seem to be able to kill me, which I think is pretty good for us. Let's do this and let's do the instant telekill sword. There we go. Instantly kills him. I think after only killing a few monsters, I think we've maybe done a loads, but I feel like we still got so many more to do. So let's go and do this. Now, I might go ahead and maybe change our weapons because we still have so many other weapons to go ahead and try out because we've only been able to use some of them only a couple times. So let me take out more ammo to go ahead and make sure we don't run out. So now we can go ahead and reload everything and make sure we keep ourselves very safe. Mark, this is going to be so cool. Look, we can even give ourselves loads and loads more shotguns. Okay, I didn't expect any of these weapons today, but Marco Finney Zombie always keeps us very prepared. Well, let's go and spawn the Plague Doctor SCP-049. Look, they always go for my zombie friends. What is he doing? Okay, let's keep going and let's go and destroy this guy. Die, evil monster, die! <laughs> ah, he's coming for us! I sense the disease within you. Stop resisting! I am the cure! Okay, that's a very strange SCP. I'm gonna spawn two more of him. SCP-049. Here we go. Perfect. Mark! Stay back, my friendly zombie! For some reason, he loves going killing zombies. Probably because they might have the plague. But I know they don't. I've been with them forever and I haven't gotten ill since. Okay, let's go and spawn SCP-131. Let's go and do this. Oh, it's some sort of weird iPod. Can we go ahead and destroy him? Oh, there we go. I knew we could. Let's go see what he gives us. Oh, nothing. Well, let's keep going and hopefully we should be able to destroy him. Here we go. Shotgun. <laughs> okay, I actually feel really sorry for these guys. Now, we did leave loads of SCPs down below, but I still have a few more to do. So let's do SCP-548. Whoa. Okay. It looks like a dangerous creeper spider. But you know what? I feel like they could even be worse. So let's go and do this. Let's go and use our RPG. Whoa. 
Okay, they're disappearing. This can't be good. Here we go. There we go. Keep going. No, they're coming straight for us. We got to go ahead and kill them before they pretty much roam into our world and destroy everything. Maybe that's what Marco for New Zombie meant by SCPs being right underneath his house. So let's keep on going. Nothing. Good. Okay, we got to make sure they don't make their way too far down. Keep going. No, there they are. This is super scary. I hate spiders so much. But thankfully, we have been able to go ahead and get rid of them. Well, let's keep on going and let's go and spawn the... Let's see what well, we have a few more of these. Let's do the Humans Refuted. SCP-3199. Ah! Run! This is not good. Okay, let's go and do our shotgun. Good. Perfect. And awesome. Gosh, for some reason, these guys are easily trying to kill us. But I'm not going to let that happen. Quickly, keep going. <laughs> this is so scary. And perfect. Let's go and do this. Wait, they've left an egg. Maybe it was pregnant. I'm not really sure. Can we destroy it or not? Okay, this can't be good. I, I, I feel like we need to destroy it. But then if we do, it might go ahead and trap us. Wait, guys, it seems like it's gone ahead and given us bad luck, which is very unusual. Okay, I don't know what went on there. But for some reason now, we have loads and loads of different types of pretty much effects on us. Cow, don't get eaten by those... Pretty much spiders. They're absolutely disgusting. Okay, let's go and do the Electro Marine Praetorian SCP-4307. Wait, I'm not sure if it's going to go and kill the cow or if it's actually a friendly creature. But let's wait a second. Okay, he looks super scary, so I might just go ahead and destroy this guy. Okay, he's seen me. Let's keep going. Oh, he's shooting something at us. See, he's got some sort of laser attack. Okay, let's go and destroy this guy. No! Okay, here we go. Shotgun! Perfect! Okay, I'm so glad we managed to kill this guy. For some reason, he seemed to have a weird attack that I've never seen before. But I guess that's what you should expect on all of these SCP monsters. Let's do SCP-091. Here we go. Nothing. Ah! It's coming after us! It's a disgusting bug! It's SCP-019. Let's go and do this. Let's use our small gun to go and kill this little creature. Let me spawn two more and let's see if anything happens. Look, they look like little baby creatures. Okay, I'm so glad that's done with. Mark, I'm going to go down below and get some more spawners and put back the ones we've already tried out. Hopefully we can figure out if there's any other crazy ones. Down below we go, we go. And let me just go and do this. We have to go and destroy these guys. Okay, for some reason these guys are just almost impossible to kill. So let's do this. I'm going to take out loads more spawners and let me throw in some of the items I don't see myself using again. Okay, good. I've taken everything out. So hopefully we shouldn't need to come back here. I'll be back, you evil creatures. I'll go and find some lava or something to go ahead and destroy you guys. But let me go and do the SCP-087. This one sounds really scary. Whoa. Okay, what is that? It's some sort of Slenderman. Let's go and use this weird gun. Here we go. The Scorpion. Some of these guys are well too strong. Keep going. And perfect. Yes, we've done it. Oh, thank goodness. That did take a very long time. Now, one creature I definitely do want to try out is the SCP-096, which is basically Shy Guy. I'm going to spawn in right next to Marco for your zombie, and hopefully we can figure out what's going on. Did you guys hear that? Something is definitely haunting our world. Okay, this guy is well too scary. We do have the instant kill sword if we do get too scared. But let me go ahead and spawn him again and pretty much get him to fight us. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, there's something in there. Is that where the, the egg came from? Okay, keep going. Come on. This guy is a baby one of the one we had earlier. It must have come from the egg. So let's go and do this. Perfect. Good. Come on. We have to go ahead and do this. There we go. Wait. Where's Shy Guy? There he is. Okay. He's getting quite scary. Let's go and use our gun to make sure we can actually kill this guy. Keep going. Come on. No. He's about to run after us. Keep going. Perfect. And good. Mark, stay back from this guy. He's well too dangerous. There we go. Let's use our scorpion. Hopefully this should work. Here we go. Perfect. Now nope, we're all out of this gun. Here we go. Okay. It seems like he's just well too strong. Watch out. Run. This is not good. He's still coming after us. Here we go. It's our only way to go ahead and make him back up. Okay. Is he still coming after us? This guy is just not going to stop. But thankfully, our armor is pretty much making him very weak. So I think we're doing a great job. But this guy is almost impossible to kill unless we use our telekill sword. It's the only way to destroy him. 
Well, let's go and spawn the Shadow Spider. Oops. Okay, I don't want that guy free. This guy's well too scary. I thought he was going to be way bigger, but he's not. Good. Oh, thank goodness. Well, let's go and spawn some other ones, and hopefully we can figure out what we have. We've got with, the, with many voices, the electric lamps, uh, the electric sheep. Let's go and do this. I'm going to do SCP-939, and let's do this. There we go. Run! <laughs> These guys are super scary. Here we go. Do you know what? I'm going to just use my instant kill sword. We have it, so we might as well use it. And let's do the electric sheep. Now, these guys will pretty much go into the sky, and whenever we get close, they'll pretty much electrify us with the other bigger sheep. There we go. See? I told you. They have lightning strikes. This is not good. No! <laughs> they're going to take over our world. Okay. I can actually leave those guys because they're not too scary. But they are probably trying to go ahead and take care of their little babies. So let me just go ahead and get rid of these guys because they will grow up to be bigger ones. Okay. Let's do this. Now, we do have loads of strange items now. So let's go and do um, pink, the pink flamingo and these ones and perfect. And let's go and do this. One, two, three. SCP-1507. Now, I'm not sure if these guys are dangerous or not. Oh, they are. Okay, let's go and do this. Perfect. And good. Okay, it's too noisy. I feel like we might be attracting all dangerous creatures, especially when using those guns. But let's go and do SCP-354. Wait, what are those guys? There seem to be some sort of weird robots going after all my zombies. Ah, this is not good. It's some sort of Terminator. Okay, let's go and destroy them, and hopefully we can figure out what they look like. Okay, good. And let's go and do one more, and then we can do the rest later on. Let's do the Heavy Assault Golem. Cool! Okay, so these guys should pretty much go ahead and kill whatever we spawn in front of them. Like the hard-to-kill reptiles. See? They will go ahead and destroy them. This is perfect! Mark, we should have spawned those at the beginning. This is so cool. I don't have to do anything else. Except maybe get rid of them because he is destroying these golems. Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today Mark of Funny Zombie has gone ahead and invited us for a wonderful mission. So let's go and figure out what we're doing today because apparently he has something really awesome for us to do. Hello Mark, how's it going? I heard that today you had an awesome mission for us that only we could complete. So let's go and figure out what we're doing today. Ah, he's given us a wonderful book. Let's go and see what it says. Hello Naveed, we are super excited to welcome some brand new monsters to the game. The villagers lab should have all the samples. Go and grab them and come back here with them. Ah, that sounds awesome. Well guys, let's head to the villagers lab and let's figure out what we're doing today because apparently there's some sort of samples that we need to go and get and only then can we figure out exactly what we're doing. So guys, let's do this. Let's head to the villagers lab. Well, we've made it to the villagers lab but I don't seem to find anyone home. Hello, villagers. I do hear them, but I have no idea where they are. It seems like everyone has gone ahead and evacuated the place. But I'm pretty sure that the samples we're looking for should be right inside this chest. Ah, perfect. It seems like these are going to be some very strange spawners that I have a feeling I know exactly what they are. These seem to be the SCP spawners, which is super scary. I wonder why the villagers had this inside their possession. Well, guys, let's head back to Mark up for zombie and figure out what he wants us to do with these because I'm not going to spawn any of these near our house. They're super dangerous. Well, I've made it back to our wonderful village, but I have a feeling Mark doesn't want to see these spawners. I think he knows they're completely dangerous. Well, let's see if he's given us anything new. Ah, oh, another book. Let's go see what it says. You know exactly what you must do with these spawners. Let's find out together what happens once we spawn them. I got you some weapons just in case they try and kill you. Wait, Mark, did you know they were going to try and kill us? This is awful. Okay, do you know what? I actually just want to find out exactly what's going to happen. Even if they kill us, I'm pretty sure we should spawn back with no problem whatsoever. So let me put on this full iron set and let's get spawning. Today is going to be super awesome, but hopefully we don't die too many times. And I'm pretty sure Mark up new zombie should be joining us today. Well, guys, let's do this. Let's go and spawn the first one right around Marco for new zombie's house. This is going to be so cool. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to do the Eyes of Darkness right here. Cool. This is awesome. Mark, come on, buddy. Join me in this wonderful adventure. Oh, good. I think he's here. And he's gone ahead and given us some stone and also a level 5 keycard. I have a feeling we're going to need this to go ahead and go inside. Well, let's head up there and figure out what's in there. Yes, it does work. 
Okay, this is super scary. I've never been into a room like this ever before, but it seems like this is the building that holds all the SCP monsters right inside. Oh, here we go. Anything? Whoa, what is that thing? Okay, let's go and try and kill it. Mark, help us out, buddy. This weird monster is right inside here, but I'm not really sure if we can even kill them. Oh, good. Yes, we can. Do you know what? I'm going to head out of here. Mark, a friendly zombie, thought that these were going to spawn some peaceful monsters. But so far, everything has been super evil. Mark, you didn't even come indoors. <laughs> that was mental and super scary. But this is one of the biggest buildings I've been able to ever spawn. But you know what, Mark? That was kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn the next one, which is... Let's do the Bigfoot one. This sounds really cool. And I'm going to do it right around here where I know it won't destroy anyone's house. Okay, here we go. Right around there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And we should be able to use one of these stones to jump up and head indoors. Okay, Mark, you better follow me inside this time. I'm going to use this. And perfect. And look, the SCP-1000. Okay, let's go indoors, and hopefully this will save us. Okay, this looks super scary. Whatever's going on, I have a feeling it might be right inside. Look, it's so dangerous. They've got a layer of glass and a layer of fencing. So, let's go inside and figure out what they look like. Hopefully we won't die. And then the tale of the Bigfoot will come true. Here we go. Cool. Gosh. This is well too secured, so these monsters must be super dangerous. Mark, come on, buddy. If not, you're going to get left behind. Wow, there's so many doors to get to this place. And here we go, the Bigfoot. Gosh, and they look peaceful. I don't think they're going to try and kill me. Okay, let's go around here. No, nope, they're trying to get me. Everyone out, everyone out quickly. Quickly, let's get them. <laughs> it seems like they're well too scary. I'm going to have to try and get rid of them and hopefully we can survive this. I just hate that they try and do this. Oh good, one of them's dead. Let's keep going. There was another one right around here and hopefully we should be able to do this. No, <laughs> they have got me. Ugh, we were killed by Bigfoot 1000, which is super scary. But thankfully, we've been able to spawn back and Mark our friendly zombie is alright. <sighs> what a crazy day. But you know what? We still have so many more to do. So let's go and do this. I'm actually really excited. I'm going to do the old man right around here by the lake. This is going to be super strange and kind of creepy. Okay, here we go. Let's spawn this right there. And perfect. And now to find the entrance. I think it should be this way. Mark, don't get left behind, buddy. I'm going to jump up this side and let's do this. I do know that right inside there's going to be some sort of weird old man that is going to try and kill us. So let's use our key card. Inside we go. And around here. Let's just have a quick look. If it's dangerous, we can just easily run out. Look, the closer we go, the stranger this place gets. Whoa! This is super crazy. And there you go, SCP-106. The computer has told us everything we need to know. Yuck! There is blood everywhere. Okay, I'm going to keep on roaming around, and hopefully we should be able to do this. Hello? Whoa! No! We've let him out! Okay, let's go and try and put it back inside, and hopefully we can do this. Evil monsters, get back inside! No! I think he's escaped, and he's trying to go ahead and get closer to us. But it seems like now he can walk through buildings and try and kill us. This is awful. Look, he can pretty much walk through stuff. This is super creepy. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to have to try and escape this place, and hopefully we can do this. But look, the old man, once out of that crazy block, he can pretty much walk through every building. Wait, what's happened to us? Okay, we're in a very strange place. Hello? Anyone here? I think I've been here before. This place is kind of reminding me of a very creepy place. I do know that no one escapes this place alive though, so... Look, you can't even seem to go up. It's super weird. But even if I tried, I don't think there's an exit. I think the old man keeps us here and keeps us prisoner for the rest of our lives. There is no escape. Guys, let me show you what I mean. He's teleported us to a very unusual dimension that pretty much keeps going and never ends. Look, it's basically an endless prison. And I don't see anyone, including Marco Frini Zombie, which is really weird. Usually, Marco Frini Zombie is the first person that would always be here for us. So, I'm just going to get out of this world and make it back and hopefully we will be alright. Okay, we're spawned back and it seems like these are the villagers from the lab. Okay... That was kind of creepy. I don't know what's going on at this point. And I have a feeling Marco Frenny Zombie is lost in that evil dimension. So maybe at the end of this video, we have to go ahead and get him back. Okay, I'm going to keep on going. 
I'm going to spawn the Builder Bear 1048, which is a very unusual monster. So guys, I'm going to spawn this one right here as well by the water. Here we go. Perfect. And let's make our way over and figure out how to get inside. Okay, let's get our key card out. And good. And it seems like it's a weird monster as well. Let's just go and have a quick look. Oh, look, there's a bear inside. <laughs> that isn't so bad. Okay, let's see. Anything we can use? Okay, I might take that and hopefully we should be all right. Okay, inside we go. And perfect. Let's get our sword ready. And good. Where are you, Builder Bear? Wait, there he is. He's right around us. Okay, is he going to try and kill us or is he friendly? I have a feeling he's trying to find some sort of escape. Now, die, evil monster, die. <laughs> ah, he's biting our legs, which is awful and it hurts so much. Okay, I'm going to spawn back and hopefully we'll never see him ever again. Do you know what? Mark off and his zombie messed up today. We shouldn't have spawned any of these monsters. I'm going to spawn the blizzard claws right here in the middle and see what happens. Oh, it spawned a snowy area. And it seems like right inside there's some sort of weird lizards that I've never even seen before. Okay, let's just make our way up there and figure out what they are. Look, there they are. I've never seen these guys ever before. But I have a feeling this is their dimension. Cool. This is so awesome. Okay. They're following us right now, but I'm not really sure. Oh, they're, ki they're killing me. Everyone, escape this place. They're everywhere. Okay, hopefully they can't escape from that fencing. But if they do, I think we should be all right. Ah, they killed us by a fatal frostbite. Okay, we're back again, but this time it's turning out to be super strange. And the blizzard is slowly by slowly covering the rest of our world. So, let's go and do this. I'm going to throw in all the items we won't be using again. Actually, I need those. And perfect. Let's go and do this. We only have five more to go and do. I'm going to go and spawn the next one right around here. The hard to destroy reptile. This is going to be kind of weird. Let's do it right there. Oh, it spawned over there. Okay, let's go and have a quick look. Hopefully, we should be able to get to it. Yep, this is it. I think we've made it. Okay, let's get our stone out. And perfect. And let's go and get also our key card. And let's go and see what's inside. You guys ready for this? Inside we go. And good. Round here. Hello. Any weird monsters? The SCP-682. And look. There's weapons everywhere to stop the evil monster from escaping. Look, there is guns all around. You guys ready? Let's go and figure out what's going on. Hello? Look, there are turrets everywhere to make sure that this monster doesn't escape. So I'm going to have to go ahead, open it up, and figure out if we can survive this. Okay, I think I'm ready. But how do we get inside? Okay, I'm just going to break a window and figure out what's in there. You guys ready for this? Good. Come on, we're almost there. And then we can go ahead and figure out... Wait, there is liquid falling out. This is not good. Let's try and survive this. Okay, I'm not really sure what's inside. But hopefully we should be okay. Guys, I'm just going to run in and figure out if we can see this or not. But nope, we don't seem to even be able to make it even close to the encounter. So I'm just going to leave this monster right inside. I pretty much know it's a reptile. Run! They've escaped the compound. This is awful. Okay, maybe we've messed up and we've gone ahead and ruined our whole world. But I'm going to have to try and do this now right around here. And hopefully we don't die any more times. I'm going to spawn the SCP-173, which is the Sculptor. Here we go. Okay, let's use our key card. Go inside. And perfect. And let's keep on going. Hopefully we don't die. Look, it's the Sculptor right in front of us. No! <laughs> you should know from the Sculptor not to turn your back. Because then he will go ahead and grab you and pretty much demolish you to bits. Ugh, that is gross. Okay, I'm going to run away from all those weird reptiles and let's go and do this. I'm going to spawn the Eyeball 718, which is going to be a very weird SCP monster. I'm going to do it right around here. You guys ready? Perfect. Oh, there it is right around there and let's go inside. Oh, here's the entrance. It took me a while to go and find it. So inside we go. Oops, I think the reptiles are following me. Ah, this is going to be super scary. Okay, inside we go and hopefully we can survive this one. Let's keep going. I think we should be all right. Okay, here we go. I think we're getting closer. And here it is. These guys will go ahead and turn your attention away from them. Look, we're not moving our mouse and it's going ahead and moving our camera. So let's go and destroy these guys. Die, evil monsters, die! <laughs> yes, I think slowly by slowly we're doing it. It's the only way to go ahead and demolish these guys by pretty much destroying them and trying to survive this. There we go. And perfect. 
Yes, we've done it. But now the scary bit. To try and escape this place and spawn the last two without the reptiles outside destroying us. Well, guys, I might go ahead and move off to a new location where I know these reptiles won't try and kill me. Okay, let me do that real quick. Okay, I made it to a new location where I can pretty much see a village in the distance. So, let's go and spawn. The humans refuted right around here. Oh, my bad. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think we've spawned right inside the location. Let's go and figure out what's going on. I'm going to have my key card ready. Wait, how did this guy follow me? And how did he get here? Okay, let's go and do this. Perfect and good. That was a very unusual day. I hope I'm not infected with something that goes ahead and spawns these guys. Here we go. I think we've made it. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, look at these guys. That looks super scary. I'm not going to let these guys out whatsoever. I don't want to die. Should we just break one glass? Okay. Look! Look at them! They're pretty much some skinned monsters. I have a feeling these guys used to be humans and now they've turned out to be like that because they've been bitten by some sort of weird SCP monster. Let's get out of here. Wait! It seems like an eyeball infestation has killed us. Guys, this day couldn't get anywhere. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead, spawn the last one, which is with many voices, and hopefully we can survive this. I'm going to just do this right in the middle. Okay, keep going. And perfect. Let's open up this area. And inside we go. And let's run inside. The SCP-939. Okay. All clear for now. Keep going. Wait! There's blood monsters in here. This is awful. Well, guys, I have a feeling this is the last location for us. And I don't think we're going to be able to survive this one whatsoever. So, guys, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below if button is red. And don't forget to press the notifications bell. And, guys, come and help me. Go ahead and press the join button down below if you want to help me out. So, guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today Minecraft Funny Zombie has gone ahead and thrown us in the middle of nowhere where I have no clue what he wants us to do. But the only thing I have seen is that Mark has given us a chest. So let's go see what's inside. Oh, he's given us a book. Perfect. Hopefully this will go ahead and explain what we need to do today. Hello Naveed. Sorry we had to kidnap you and drop you off here in the middle of nowhere. Sadly, we have encountered some dangerous monsters that we need you to spawn. Wait, why do they always think I can spawn all these dangerous monsters? It's probably because I have unlimited lives. Well, let's do this. I guess we have no choice. I'm going to take out our diamond sword and also this very unusual telekill sword, which instantly kills every single mob. And then with a level 5 keycard. And then I'm assuming these are all the spawners that we need to go ahead and spawn that will probably spawn some very unusual monsters. Are you guys ready for this? Let's do it. I'm just going to go straight into it and spawn the first one. And hopefully we can figure out what's going on today. Oh, it's a very small place. Okay, let's use our key card. What? What is this thing? Okay, whatever's going on, I want to get out of here now. Hopefully we can just go and spawn the rest of these evil structures and one of them will have the spawners that we need to go and do. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to spawn the next one right around here. Okay, anything? Oh, there we go. I was wondering why I wasn't spawning. Gosh, this one is so much bigger than the previous one. Hopefully this one will have the evil monsters inside. Let's do this. Wait, this is the SCP structures. Okay, these must hold loads and loads of SCP monsters. So let's do this. I'm assuming they're around here somewhere. Let's go inside. Hello. Whoa. Okay, it's the spider's room. It's where we throw all of our evil monsters inside when we go ahead and question them. And hopefully they'll be super scared of spiders. Okay, let's do this. It seems like we can go ahead and do the light system and pretty much switch on every single thing in here. Let's go inside here. And perfect. Let's see. Yep, the computer's telling us that this is the SCP-538. And I'm assuming this is the place that we need to go ahead and go. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get out of here and spawn the next structure. I hate spiders. So there was no way I was going inside that room. Okay, let me get out of here. And let's go and spawn the next one, which I'm going to do is the old man. 106. Okay, this one is usually very scary. I'm going to spawn it right here. There we go. See, it's really scary. I hate this building so much. Okay, let's get in here and hopefully we can figure out what's going on. But sadly, we might have to dig our way up. 
Where's the entrance? Ah, maybe it's around the other side. We completely missed it. I'm going to use my key card to get inside. So let's do this. Hopefully we don't encounter any evil mobs. But this place is just well too scary. Look, SCP-106. And I have a feeling he's right behind this door. Whoa, this place is getting so scary. Oh, he must be inside here. This must be the place where they go ahead and keep him. This is just well too secured. Hello? Wow, there he is. Wait, what's happened? He's gone ahead and chucked us into a very unusual room. How do we get out of here? Hello? Something happened. When he hit us, he hit us into another dimension. I'm going to keep our sword on us at all moments. So the door's opened, and I have a feeling we need to go ahead and find the exit. But it seems like this place is just covered by loads of loads of goo. Okay, let's try and get out of here. This could be the exit. Nope, nothing here. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and make my way out of this place, and hopefully we should be able to save ourselves. It just seems like this place goes on and on forever. Okay, let's try and get out of here. Sadly, it took us forever to find an exit, and then something very unusual happened. We just teleported back here. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on going like nothing happened, and hopefully we don't get teleported to another unusual place. Let's spawn with the many voices. Oh, there's the entrance. Let's go see what's inside, and hopefully we can survive this crazy battle. Inside we go. I'm perfect. And I'm assuming whatever's at the end of this corridor is going to be really dangerous as well. Hello? Okay, inside. So let's go make sure this is right inside. Yep, this is the place we need to be. So let's go ahead and open this. Whoa! Okay, there's evil monsters everywhere. Do you know what? Should we jump inside and try and kill them? I'm going to just do this. Let's do it. Go. Here we go. Perfect. No. <laughs> oh, this is mental. Okay. Let's keep on going. Normally with a normal sword, this takes forever to go and kill. Oh, I'm going to leave these guys right in there. I'm not going to go inside whatsoever. So let's keep on going. I'm going to go and spawn these next few structures. Hopefully we can just go and survive at least a few of these. Oh, who would have thought today would be such a crazy place? I'm going to go ahead and spawn the with bear of heart patchwork. Hopefully this will work as well. Here we go. Let's do it right there. And perfect. And let's go and use our key card to go right inside. Okay. This one seems a lot more peaceful than the previous one. Okay. Nothing so far. Let's use our key card to go inside all these doors. Nothing. So it seems like this is the SCP-2295, which seems to be a very peaceful creature. Okay. Oh, is this him? Guys, look, I found him. So it seems like he was just working on a little project by himself. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, it seems like I'm breaking this whole place. Let's just go and put everything back. Hopefully it'll be okay. Well, let's look around because it seems like that guy doesn't want to talk to us. So I'm just going to keep on roaming around to see what we find. Let's see. Oh, and that's the exit. Well, let's do this. I'm going to spawn the next one, which should be the living room. 002. Hopefully this will go ahead and work. Oh, there's the entrance. So let's use our key card. I'm perfect. This one is definitely another scary one. Every single time I see a structure like this, I kind of know what's about to happen. Just go inside. And good. And this is the SCP-002. Okay. Whoa! Gosh, this is mental. Whatever's inside this giant ball, it must be really dangerous. You would assume they're keeping some sort of superheroes in there. But it's only an SCP monster. So let's go and investigate. Hopefully we can come to the conclusion of to what's inside. Okay, let's open this. I'm perfect. Wait, no! We're being sucked in! <laughs> this is crazy! Okay, it seems like we were consumed by whatever was inside. Huh. Hopefully we will never go in there ever again. Huh. What a crazy day. Well, let's go and do the Plague Doctor, the 049. Okay, let's do it right there, and let's try and jump to the door. Do you think we can do it? Nope, no way. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and break one of these blocks. I'm perfect, and let's just make our way up. There we go. And let's go inside. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, whoever's inside should keep us very safe. Oh, there he is. Gosh, he's here. He says, you are not a doctor. And he's just gone ahead and killed us. <laughs> this is mental. And it seems like he's gone ahead and spawned another dangerous creature just like us. Guys, you need to go and see this. I need to go and show you guys exactly what's happened. Look, we're right inside. 
He's gone ahead and spawned and replicated us. This is very scary. Look, there he is. Oh my, yet another victim. No! <laughs> How do we stop this? Oh, this is crazy. He says he is here to cure us. Don't be afraid. <sighs> okay, this is definitely turning out to be such a strange day. Well, let's go and do this. I'm going to go and spawn the next one, which is the Monster Pot 019. Hopefully, this will go ahead and be at least a peaceful one. Perfect. Another big structure. And let's go right inside. Here we go. Okay, whenever I see the red sign, it's usually very dangerous. So, let's go and do this. Oops. Okay, I'm not touching that room. Let's go inside this one. Oh! Okay. What is this thing? Can we go ahead and touch it? Oops! Whoa! No! What happened? They went ahead and spawned out of nowhere. Ha! Huh. Okay, I'm so happy we're spawning all of these right inside a confined place. So that means they should never leave this whole area, and hopefully we should be okay. Let me go and spawn the next one, the Suppressor 997. I think around here should be a good spot. Let's do this. There we go. Ah, another one we have to jump onto. Okay, hopefully this will work. There we go. Good. Okay, let's go inside, and let's see who's in here. Oh, it's a green sign. Usually that means something good. Okay, inside we go. I'm perfect. Let's roam around. Oh, is this it? Oh, look, it's a little mouse. Ah, oh, this isn't so bad. So this seems to be very similar to the other one. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, nothing's happened. How about again? Hmm, very unusual. Maybe this monster that's roaming around around here. I think he's a friendly creature. Where is he? I think he was around here. Or did Is he on us? Okay, I don't know where, where he's gone, but it seems like he's... Oh, okay, that's not it. Okay, it seems like I did see him. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. Well, let's get out of here and let's go and spawn the next one. Hopefully, it'll be something really peaceful as well. I'm going to go and spawn the electric sheep, which I'm going to do right here. There we go. So let's go on and perfect. And let's go and see who's inside. Oh, it seems like this is a very peaceful place. Hello, I'm looking for some sort of electric sheep. Um, anyone? <laughs> oh, there they are. These guys are super cute. Wait, they attack us. Whoa. Okay, everyone out. This whole place is going to burn down. <laughs> oh, a cookie. I could do with a cookie. Let's go and get it and let's eat up. Huh. This is turning out to be such a strange day. Do you know what? I'm going to go and do just a couple more and hopefully we can figure out what dangerous monsters are right inside. Hopefully the next few will be very peaceful. But the only thing I worry about is that wherever these monsters could let themselves loose, they'll go ahead and destroy our evil place. So, let's go and do this. I'm going to go and spawn the Sculpture 173. Okay, inside we go. I'm perfect. And this guy is really scary. Wherever he is, never turn your back on him. Okay, I think he's all good. But whenever you turn your back, there you go. I told you. <laughs> ah, that was mental. And he sneaked up on us like if nothing happened. Well, let me go and spawn the Swamp Lady 811. Gosh, this place is huge as well. Let's go inside. I'm perfect. Okay, so it seems to be around here somewhere. Let's hopefully roam around and find wherever she might be. Hopefully this one we can go and kill with our awesome sword. Where is it? Oh, look, there it is. Gosh, how are they keeping these crazy swamp people right inside here? Well, let's go inside and say hello. Hey, how's it going? I heard you're here all by yourself. No! <laughs> Wait, it seems like we've got some sort of poison. Okay, what? We were slain so quick. Guys, this is turning out to be such an insane day. So I'm just going to do one more and hopefully we can survive this one. I'm going to do it right around here. Let's do this. I'm perfect. You guys ready for this? It's going to be mental. The SCP-718. Let's go inside and let's see where he is. So it seems like whoever used to be on all these computers have just been killed. Okay, let's go inside and I'm assuming there's going to be a giant crater. Wow, there it is. Look, it's pretty much looking for someone. Wow, look, so it seems that whenever we look around, we can't seem to look too far away. It will go ahead and lock us into place. So let's go and do this. Perfect, good. Awesome, and yes, <laughs> that was well too easy. This sword is the most awesome sword ever. Well, that was a pretty quick fight. Well, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. It's been absolutely crazy today going ahead and checking out all these SCP structures. And I'm a little bit scared that maybe one day they'll go ahead, break themselves out of this place, and maybe even go and kill us. So guys, I wish you soon the crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to press the notifications bell. And I'd also love to know which one is your favorite SCP monster. So guys, comment down below. And I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy minecraft video where today I have something really awful to show you guys. Mark my funny zombie has gone ahead and placed us in the grasslands again where he wants us to go ahead and fight some dangerous monsters. And I think the 8 monsters are all inside this chest. So he's given us some random SCP monsters that we have to go ahead and kill with our superhero outfit which is going to be really scary. I haven't tried out these outfits, so I'm a little bit nervous that some of them could easily kill us if we press the wrong button. Okay, I'm going to take out Captain America's outfit, and also Loki's outfit. This is going to be a good combination. Now, I do need your help guys to go ahead and comment down below who's your favorite superhero. I think next video, I can go ahead and try the outfit on. Well, let's do this. Let me put on Captain America's helmet, the chest plate, the leggings, and also the boots. Cool! And it's given us loads more hearts. And also regeneration, which I could easily use to go ahead and kill every single one of these evil monsters. Well, let's not waste any more time. And uh, let's see if some of these little abilities actually work. As of right now, I don't think he's got anything. Okay, this is useless. Maybe he's just super strong. Well, let's take out a spawner like the old man outfit, which is SCP-106. And let's try this out. Okay, I'm going to spawn it right here in the middle. Here we go, three, two, one, the old man. Look, there he is. Okay, let's punch him, and good. <laughs> okay, he wants a crazy fight. Thankfully, Captain America is really strong, but this guy is a whole new level. Now, I'm a little bit nervous that this is gonna be really challenging, but I have a feeling if we don't do this, we're not gonna be able to kill the old man. But I don't know how much heart he has. It seems like we're constantly killing him, and he's always teleporting around without giving us a chance to destroy him. See, he's gone again. This guy is the ultimate guy in going ahead and deceiving us. Every single few hits, we miss one because he teleports around. See, I told you. No, die evil monster, die old man. <laughs> I thought I'd never say those words. Gosh, this guy is well too good. Okay, let's go and try out if some of these other things work. Perfect and good. Now, I could probably kill this guy all day, but I don't think I'm going to have a chance to even pretty much get one death in. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave him right here and hopefully in maybe a few hits he should die. Okay, I need to change outfit. He's not dying whatsoever. Let's go ahead and try out Loki's outfit. Hopefully this will work out loads better. There we go. And perfect. And let's do this. This outfit is way better already. <laughs> and yes, we have Loki's Skepta. Okay, where's that old man? Hey, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Let's go and try and kill him. And perfect. Okay. I think it's working, but I'm not sure if it's going to kill him. As of right now, I'm not sure if anything's working. Do you know what? Let me go ahead and get out another spawner to go ahead and fight these dangerous SCPs. So, I think the next one is going to be... The Sculpture! Perfect! This could be a great monster to kill. I'm going to place it right here, and let's go and try this out. Is it going to work? Okay, nothing's happening so far. <laughs> Now, I do know the only way we can kill the sculpture if we go ahead and look around. And he'll go ahead and try and get us. No! Run! Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, trying to kill this guy is going to be a great challenge. But I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of him. Maybe if we go ahead and dig down to the bottom of the world and destroy Bedrock, we can make him fall into the abyss, which would be perfect. Okay, it's not working. I was hoping Loki would have lava. Yes, that is awesome. Okay, let's break this. And let's put the lava right underneath it. Is anything going to happen? I, I think he's immune to everything. Okay, I hate this outfit so much. He's trying to get out of the lava, but I know I can't face away from him. If not, he goes ahead and follows me. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get out a whole new outfit by looking at him. And let's get out Iron Man's outfit. Hopefully this will go ahead and work in destroying this evil monster. Okay, let's do this. Let me throw this outfit away. And perfect. And let's get out... There we go, and good, and perfect. Okay, you guys ready? Let's try this out. <laughs> Why can't we fly? Okay, I don't see how anything's working. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Wait, the old man is still around. Okay, here we go, and perfect. And here we go. 
Let's go and try and use the uni beam. It's the only way we can go ahead and destroy these guys. And perfect. Oh, the sculptor is getting a lot closer to me as well. Here we go. I don't think we're going to be able to kill him. It's absolutely awful. Okay, I've got the knockback fists out, but I'm not sure if it's working with this guy. Oh, we did hit him away. Perfect. Let's go and do this. Is it going to work? And here we go. And perfect. Yes. <laughs> okay, I think this is pretty much broken as of right now. Perfect. There we go. Ah, this is going to be crazy. Do you know what? Let's do this. Perfect. I think we've got at least one person. Okay, let's try and get out of here and activate our beams to pretty much go away. Oh, perfect. Nice. That is so cool. Okay, can we go ahead and do that again? Here we go. Okay, we've got everything set up. And let's try and go. Here we go. Fire. <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, we've got so many crazy stuff. Things that I've pretty much never even seen before. And there we go. We've got our cannons. Here we go. Let's go and do this. Now, where are these dangerous monsters? I'm hoping maybe we killed at least one or two of them. Okay, let's get out another spawner because I think we've done the job. Let's go and get out SCP-087. There we go. No! Okay, here we go. And perfect. Good. The jet thrusters are definitely working. There we go. Perfect. Yes! Finally, one monster we can go ahead and kill. Perfect. Okay, let's spawn a couple more. And there we go. And let's keep on going. And perfect. Let's go in and change to our lasers. <laughs> Watch out, cow. It's pretty much a crazy day right now. And perfect. Gosh, we hit everything into the middle. And now we've got experience falling from the sky. Well, that was a crazy day. Let me go ahead and get out the eyes of darkness. And I also want to take out this Iron Man's outfit and pretty much put on another crazy thing. Let's see what we have. Oh, Hulk's outfit and also the Flash. Yep, these are going to be my two favorite ones. Well, let's go ahead and check everything back in. And let's put on Iron Man's boots, the leggings, the chest plate, and also the helmet. Cool! And we can pretty much run as fast as we want. Okay, I can't get too far away from those chests because it's got every single item we need right now. And I can see the sculptor slowly by slowly sneaking towards us. Perfect. <laughs> okay, is this working or not? I'm trying to use my ultimate beams to go ahead and destroy this guy, but I don't think it's working. Well, let's go and find out if we can do anything else. Now we can pretty much spawn everything away, but as soon as I look away from this dangerous monster, he goes ahead and follows us, which is absolutely crazy for us. Okay, I don't think this is going to work. Do you know what? I'm going to take off this outfit and look at him and let's go ahead and put on the Hulk's outfit. If Hulk can't destroy anything, we're not going to be able to have a chance either. And of course, we start off as a normal human, but we have to go ahead and mutate into a different type. We should make it a lot easier to go ahead and kill the eyes in the dark. Are you guys ready? Let's go spawn these guys and let's go see what they look like. Okay, they look super scary. I have a feeling there might be some sort of mutation from some Enderman. Oh, we killed them so fast. Okay, what other abilities do we have? So we can turn back into a human, or if we are sick and tired of that, we can go back and turn into a Hulk. And we should have some other different abilities. Aha, there we go. A wonderful explosion. Do you know what? I'm going to try this next to some dangerous creatures or even a cow, and let's go see what it does. You guys ready? Cool! It knocks them back. Here we go. And perfect. Sorry! I'll let him live. Hopefully this is not the end of this crazy adventure. Well, it seems like we've gone ahead and somehow killed the sculpture and also the old man, which is very unusual. I didn't expect them to disappear like that. Well, let me go ahead and pretty much spawn another two. And let's go and do this. A wonderful explosion. Perfect. And we killed them. That was super quick. Okay, the cow seems to be a lot stronger than even these weird eyes of the darkness. Well, let me go ahead and get out some more spawners and also our next outfit because I'm hoping it's going to be the cyborg. Well, let's do this. Let's take this outfit off and perfect and let's put on the cyborg. I'm just hoping this will go ahead and save us from any crazy adventures. Cool! It has a lightning bolt coming from its eye. This is so crazy. This laser beam should go ahead and save us from any sort of dangers. But I'm not going to take our word for it. I'm going to go in and spawn every single one of these spawners and pretty much fight them and figure out which one will kill us. Well, let me do this. Let me go and spawn these weird eyeballs and hopefully we can figure out what they do. What is this? Okay, they're staring at me. But if I stare away, do they come closer? Okay, nope, nothing. Wait, they're moving my camera around. Okay, perfect. Look, they're moving my camera around without me even doing anything. This is so strange. Perfect and good. 
Huh. And now that we've killed them, we're all good. I think they try and make your focus go straight on them. But the only thing I'm worried about is, because I've blown them up, are they going to spawn back from a little saplings again? Because if they do, that's going to be really dangerous. Well, let me spawn. The humans refuted, and hopefully this should be an easy one, but I'm kind of scared about it. Wait, definitely not easy. Die! Here we go. Perfect. Gosh, look how scary these guys are. They look really, really scary. Perfect. And there we go. And every single time we kill them, they leave an egg on the ground that we must go ahead and destroy. Because if not, more minions will go ahead and repair. Okay, anything? I think we're all good for now. Well, let's go and spawn Shy Guy and pretty much fight him and figure out if this outfit can go ahead and save us. Perfect. There we go. Oh, it does work. Shy Guy is usually so hard to go and kill. But as of right now, it seems like it's super easy. Okay, let's go and antagonize them and hopefully we can figure this out. Wait. Ugh, gross. I told you the eyes would be back. Okay, I think we've killed every single one for now. But I don't know why Shy Guy is getting too angry okay i think it's a chance for that one of these monsters go ahead and kill us because as of right now i don't think we've died here we go okay laser <laughs> perfect no okay let's go and do this there we go nice i'm just gonna go ahead and give him every single thing we can actually go and give and where's the other one gone okay i've lost the other one which makes it so much harder here he goes no he's trying to get us Okay, usually they go and kill us by this chance, but Cyborg makes it so much easier to go ahead and survive. Perfect, good, and awesome. Okay, where's the other one? Uh-huh, there he is. Let's go and kill this guy, and this should be perfect. There we go, and good. Come on, because then we only got one more monster to go ahead and kill, which is the with many voices. Huh? They sound like villagers, and another eye showed up. Wait, these guys actually go in ahead and pretty much destroy me. Okay, let's do this. Let's use our laser eye and go and destroy these guys. Did we do it? I think we did it. Well, guys, this has been super fun pretty much destroying every single one of these creatures, especially with our awesome laser eye. I could pretty much keep this going all day, but I'm sure my eyes would get very tired and pretty much feel sorry for every single one of the animals we're killing. Well, guys, I will see you soon in another crazy Minecraft video. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below, the button is red, and also don't forget to press the notifications bell. So guys, I'll see you soon. Peace out. Hello guys, and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today, Microphone Zombie has gone ahead and invited us to this awesome village, where loads of villagers have been going ahead and getting themselves killed by dangerous monsters. And the villagers have called us up to go ahead and help them out. Now, instantly I've just noticed there was a giant hole in the ground full of bedrock. But I have a feeling this isn't just a hole. This is going to be the foundation of a brand new structure. Well guys, let's go speak to this villager and let's go see what he wants us to do. Hello Naveed, we need your help. We have lost many villagers over the last few days to SCP monsters. We have started building the strongest bunker in the world, but I've hit a few issues. Please, could you help us finish our project for us and fight off the SCP apocalypse? Wait, so you want me to finish off this crazy bunker? Okay, I'm actually a little bit scared because there is a lot of villagers down there that can get themselves hurt. Well, I guess I have no choice but to go ahead and help them out, so let's go see what's inside the chest. Thankfully, they've gone ahead and given us every single item we need, and I'm going to take out everything. But guys, before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to Styx as well as Inga for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead, press the join button below, and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well, the villagers have just reminded me that the majority of you aren't subscribed yet, so head down below as well and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Okay, I think it's good enough to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start building this wonderful structure and hopefully no more villagers fall inside. Every single villager that's in there is going to have a bit of a problem getting out. Because I know villagers don't use ladders. But so far, I think this is going to turn out awesome. I'm going to go ahead and build a little area around here where we can have the door that goes in and then a little floor right around here. Hopefully the villagers don't get upset if we mess up the village a little bit. But if it means no more villagers getting kidnapped by any more SCP monsters, then it's totally worth it. Well, I think so far we're doing a great job. 
It is awesome that the villagers have given us every single item we need. So if we do need anything else, all I've got to do is go ahead and ask, and hopefully we should be set. So, let me just fill up this floor area, and we can go ahead where we're going to put everything. Villagers, don't you worry. I am going to open up down there very quickly. I am going to have to block it off, though, until I can figure out what we're doing. And perfect. Huh. At least no more villagers are going to fall through. I might actually go ahead and take out every single item, and then we can figure it out as we go along. Oh, perfect. I have a pickaxe right here. That's going to be great. So let's go ahead, take out all these items, and let's start making a wonderful bunker for all of these villagers. Now, I did first notice that there is two doors, which I'm going to take out straight away. And let me go and put them right around here. Perfect. So all you've got to do is go ahead, walk up, and these two doors will open for you. And all you've got to do is close it, and hopefully it should be SCP proof. Well, let me go ahead and build up this area one more time, because the sooner we build up, the most protected is going to be. I am just hoping though that no mobs can go ahead and break through all this bedrock, as well as all these iron blocks. But I am thinking, I don't really know every single SCP monster, so there could be one out there that could go ahead and definitely demolish this place. Well, let's keep on going, and perfect, and slowly by slowly we are making this a wonderful place. Let's just break this block. And good, and let's keep on going. Villagers, don't you worry. Very soon we'll be completely finished, and you'll never have to worry about anything like this ever again. Well, guys, give me a couple seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this bunker, and I'm just going to do the framework. We can go ahead and add the furniture later, but for now, I am going to have to focus on making sure I can finish as soon as possible. Well, I'm going to have to figure out where everything is going to go, but I'll be back in one second. Are you guys ready to see it? Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but I have tried my hardest. So if you go ahead, walk in, there's a little room that you can go ahead and just add all the bedding and everything you would ever need. And if we head downstairs to the bedrock area, it's the fully protected state. So this is where I want most of the villagers to spend all their time. And if we go ahead and go right to the top, there should be another floor. Let's go ahead and have a quick look. Now, I don't really want any villagers up here. This is sort of like a little castle protector that you can go ahead and stand up and shoot every single SCP mob. But I think it's now time to go ahead and add all our furniture and let's go see what we got. Thankfully, they have literally given us everything we could ever need. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to add the beds right around here. And perfect. Separating them by a bedside cabinet and a few lamps that I think we have. There we go. So let me go ahead and do all of this. And perfect. And then I do want a little area right around here where they can have some lunch and all the villagers can eat and have fun and play games. Let me add some some cookies as well as some different types of food and as well as a safe and everything else we could need so let me go ahead and add the blueberry pie and then a bin right by the door so everyone can throw all their junk in and if we head downstairs to the bedrock area that's where i want to go ahead and add these saves villagers if you want to bring all your emeralds here you totally can and I've noticed some villagers have gone ahead and given us all their clothes. I guess they don't want to be inside a bunker without all their supplies. And I'm going to put the groceries right around here, as well as some more clothes racks against this wall. And perfect. And let's not forget to take out every single other item. There we go. And we have a wonderful fire alarm that I'm going to put right down here. To let all the villagers that the SCP monsters are about to arrive. And sadly, I do have to put a toilet around here that everyone's going to have to share, which is absolutely gross. And let's not forget to put the bath right in the side, and then a shower right around here with a basin. If only these villagers could move. Villager, come on buddy, I need to get you out of there. For some reason, they're stuck inside that corner. Okay, I'm just going to put it right there. And if we put some bedside cabinets right around, let me do it here. I'm going to put the other bed right there with the TV right around here. Perfect. And hopefully, everyone should be happy with this. Well, let's head up and let's go and tell the villagers that we're now ready to go ahead and bring everyone else in. And I'm going to put SCP Bunker. Hopefully, all the villagers know exactly what I mean. Well guys, I think we're done. Hopefully now everyone should be ready and we can put all these spare items right inside this chest. Villagers, I'm now ready. Let's go ahead and protect this village against all the SCP mobs. Guys, you have to be really quiet. I don't think we're alone. I'm gonna ring the alarm just because I now have a feeling there are loads of SCP monsters outside. Look, they're everywhere. So we have SCP-096 stuck inside the well, 
354s, as well as 939s, and they were absolutely everywhere. Okay, maybe I shouldn't get too far out right now. There are monsters everywhere, so we've got to make sure we are fully ready. Thankfully, the villagers haven't sent us by ourselves, but we have to be super careful that mobs don't get too close to us. Now, everyone, get in! <laughs> They're literally going to try and poison us as much as they can. Okay, this is going to be the scariest day ever. But I am pretty sure the villagers have given us every single item we need to fight them off. So let's take out every single tech weapon and let's get ourselves ready. Okay, I think I'm going to be super glad that we've gone ahead and created all these items right in the backyard. Okay, let's be super careful. Whoever's done every single one of these mobs is the most dangerous thing ever. Now, SCP-354 has just blown up our base. we got to make sure we don't get too close to the corners now. So, slowly by slowly, they are trying to break everything. Everything. So we've got to be super careful. Everyone, back off. It's going to be intense. Perfect and good. No! <laughs> we've got to be careful that they don't blow up again. Thankfully, we are doing an awesome job in going ahead and protecting ourselves. Villager, don't get yourself out there. Jump inside the bunker as fast as you can. Okay, these guys are definitely going to try and take over our world, but we can't let them. I'm going to have to maybe use our rocket launchers eventually. But for now, I want to make sure we stay protected and we don't let anyone too close to our bunker. And we stay everyone away. No! I just killed a poor villager and he's left a gravestone behind. Let's be super careful right now. we got to make sure we don't let anyone by the front door. If not, they can go ahead and eat everyone. Let's make sure we stay safe. Yes! We're doing it! Okay, I'm gonna have to roam out and make sure everyone else is alright in the village. Let's go ahead and get out of here and let's go and do this. Now! Okay, I don't know where we just went, but I'm guessing they have camouflage. Okay, I do see an SCP-354 right around here and let's go and destroy him. As well as other SCP monsters, which I'm gonna use the Grim Reaper. Yes! <laughs> wow! Okay, we were just blown up by another SCP-354. Villagers, stay inside. Just eat all your cookies and don't come out. Oh, what a crazy day. I thought we weren't going to even have to fight many mobs whatsoever. But I am pretty sure SCP-096 is right around here. Okay, there he is. Whoa! We've got to be super careful with these guys. And we've just been eaten with many voices. Let's make our way out of there and let's go and make sure they don't creep up anymore. This is the first wave of many. Let's keep going. Aha, uh -huh, there he is. I thought they were close. Keep going. Yes! Okay, we're getting closer. Whoa! That was insane! Okay, let's go and try and kill Shy Guy and let's go and see if we can do it with these weapons. I do know Shy Guy is one of the strongest mobs out there, so we've got to make sure we just use all our weapons as fast as we can. I do have a feeling, though, that the only way we might be able to go ahead and kill them is with a telekill sword, which I might have to get the villagers to go ahead and get. So let's take out some more weapons and let's go and do this. Hopefully we should be set. Here we go. Let's use a nuclear death ray and let's go and see how much damage it does to one shy guy. Shy guy can be one of the strongest mobs out there, so we've got to make sure we don't let him escape whatsoever. See, he's used up a whole weapon. I can't believe it. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to have to run back and make sure we get out some more weapons. Villagers, I need a telekill sword before anyone makes their way back. Wait, is that another monster? <laughs> I think we've done it. Okay, I can't believe it. They've gone ahead and given us a heart attack, which can't be good. Okay, I'm going to have to use a little gun right here to get them away. Wait a second. So whatever attacks I do on her, they will do back on me, which have given me another heart attack. So I got to make sure then we get rid of those mobs in a complete different way. So far though, I think we're doing all right. Look, I'm going to do it again. See, it just affects us, which is absolutely awful. Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and roam around and make sure all the villagers are doing all right. Sadly though, there are loads more mobs right inside our village. Yes, and I think we're doing it. So I've made it back to the bunker, and I think the villagers are trying to give me this sword. Let me just go ahead and take it, which is the Telekill Sword. This should definitely go ahead and help us out. But I think I do hear some more monsters right outside. Wait, there are more. Okay, I'm not really sure how many more there are, but there seems to be scattered around. So we've got to be super careful right now. I'm going to have to roam around and slowly by slowly start destroying them. What is this? It's the ugliest cow I've ever seen. And it's just given us loads more items. No! 
So the sculptors are just going to go ahead and try and destroy us. And there's nothing we can do about it. Look, they're just trying to destroy us. No. Okay, SCP-173 is going to be the hardest one to destroy, which is going to be almost impossible. So all we got to do is go ahead and make sure we don't turn our backs to it. If we do, it's just going to follow us around and try and kill us. I'm going to have to try and... I don't know, kill off these mobs some other way. Oh, okay. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Okay. I think we're doing a great job right now. I'm going to have to go ahead and try and finish off these mobs as fast as we can. And hopefully the villagers will just get themselves in the bunker. No. Okay. We've literally just blown ourselves up. We're going to be the worst people ever. Quickly. Run, run, run. <laughs> okay. This is going to be absolutely impossible. I'm going to have to fight these guys off without turning our backs. Here we go. And perfect. And once we're a distance away, I think we should be able to kill these guys off. Wait, that's Bigfoot. And we've got ice in the dark as well. This is going to turn out to be one of the hardest challenges ever. Especially when we're being followed by sculptures. <laughs> Here they go. I can't believe it. Well, I do think we've done the best job ever in going ahead and trying to fight off every single mob. So we've just killed off another Bigfoot and we're still being followed by other mobs. And there is someone inside this house. Okay, let's try and do this as fast as we can without touching anything and destroying ourselves. Here we go. Round here we go. And perfect. And I don't know how, but somehow a mob's going to ride inside there. See? Maybe he's blocked off, which is great news for us. Well, guys, I think we've almost done it. I have gone ahead and saved off the villagers quite a lot. But for some reason, the sculptures is going to be the hardest mobs to go ahead and kill. So I'm just going to close this door and assume all the villagers down below are completely safe and we can just make a brand new village. Well, guys, it just seems like we've interrupted a wonderful bath time. And hopefully these villagers will enjoy themselves very much.